Yo, what's up sa inyo lahat mga kabalita? WB muli at yan tayo muli dito sa ating video reaction na sa ating news reaction na kung sana dito tayo sa Banat News Update. Subscribe kayo dyan mga kabalita. At ito na mga kabalita, just now kung Marcoleta nilabas na General Torre bumaliktad, Calbo Willy Gonzales, Timas Rehas na. At yung play na natin kung lalaman ito. Kinumpirma ni PLD Chief Police General Benjamin Acorda Jr. ang kusang pagbibitiw sa pwesto ni QCPD Director Police Brigadier General Nick Torre. Kaso ito ng mga aligasyon na tila pumapabor siya kay Wilfredo Gonzalez na sangkot sa pananakit at panunutok ng baril sa isang siklista sa Quezon City noong August 8, 2023. Nakita rin ang dalawa na magkasama sa isang press conference habang nagpapaliwanag si Gonzalez sa kanyang tinuran sa siklista noong araw na nangyari ang naturang road rage incident. Pero nauna na rin dumipensa si General Torre na wala siyang intensyon na kampihan si Gonzales nagdataon lang na sa kanyang kampo nangyari ang press con nito ngunit nanindigan ang general sa pagkundina niya sa ginawa ni Gonzales Kaya lang po muna kung anong nangyari and right now at that very instance that person is under a custody pwede ko siya pasamahan sa mga sarento ko I deem it proper which I believe in a hindsight ay yun ang nagbigay ng maling impresyon which I truly am 2020 ang hindsight eh so naisip ko if I can do it again I'll do it in another way pero yun na I have to stand by it I made a decision to present that guy to the media Binasok na klamor, pero siya ay under custody, kaya siya ay kailangan may kasamang polis. Hindi pwedeng sumurender siya and then 30 minutes, wala na siyang kasamang polis. Masama namang tingnan din yun. Okay? So, I made a decision. And uh, that's the reason why nakita niyo ako na nagsasalita siya, in-interview siya ng media, in-interview niyo siya, at binigyan ko siya ng pagkataong magsalita. Sa parem ng media, the PNP Chief Police General Benjamin Acorta, sinabi nitong pag-aaralan niya muna ang hiling na pagbibitiw ni Torre kasabay ng paghanga nito sa opisyal sa Delcadesa sa kaso. Of uh, John Torre, I appreciate it very much, and uh, uh, my respect to him uh, for such gesture. We don't have to wait for the police, the delicates, and uh, um, anyway, uh, things will come out naman after the investigation. Kung ano yung uh, katotohanan, uh, because he explained to me his slide, and uh, to some extent, may merit naman yung mga sinasabi niya. But of course, uh, I respect this decision. Pag-usapan namin yung uh, nabanggit na, no, na tawag doon yung uh, uh, parang some sort of, uh, siya nang voluntary na uh, uh, maalis sa Quezon City just to uh, calm the uh, claim on. Bukod sa kanyang gagawing desisyon, makikipagpulong rin si Acorda kay Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte para pag-usapan ang pagbibitiw na ito ni Torre. Kasama, magiging pasya rin ang DILG para tiyaking patas ang proseso na gagawin para sa General. It will be a consensus namin uh, with the SLG also, and, uh, of course with the Mayor. Kasi gusto natin, harmony in uh, everything. Sa kabila nito naniniwala si Acorda na hindi dapat maging basihan ang mga aligasyon ng sino man laban kay General Torre dahil bahagi lamang ito sa trabaho ng pagiging polis na gawing masama sa kabila ng mga kabutihang nagawa ng mga ito sa komunidad. Yes, of course. Uh, kasi, uh, yan ang uh, admittedly, yan ang mahirap magiging polis kung minsan. The good things, uh, hindi ka na nakikita, pero pag uh, isang pagkakamali, kung minsan yun ang malaking uh, uh, na -ex kumbaga, na exploit. Uh, pero kasama sa trabaho po yan. Sa ngayon, hinihintay pa ng PNP ang resulta ng ginagawang investigasyon sa mga inilatag na dahilan ng pagbibitiw ng QCPD Director. So, General Torre, you mentioned earlier lapses. Will you please elaborate on that? You mentioned earlier you have committed lapses. Can you elaborate on that? The first lapse that I do admit to is allowing the person to join me in facing the media regarding the investigation that we are we are doing. It should not have been done, Mr. Chairman. It should not have been done, sir, Your Honor. Considering that the other party is not present and and he is about to assert that they had come into agreement, which at that time. I have not processed fully, but now with a perfect vision that hindsight uh, accords us, is really one-sided considering that it's only him who had been speaking. Uh, I should have uh, really exerted effort to locate the person. So that's uh, really one of the major things that uh, if given a chance to do again, I will do differently, sir, Your Honor. And because of that lapse, that is the reason why you tender your resignation as the head of QCPD? Yes, sir. Uh, sir Torre, sabi nila walang kasong may file, correct? Uh, you mean sir on August 8th? Uh, may grave threat and at the same time, there was this reckless imprudence resulting to damage to property. And because of the agreement, as of this moment, there are no cases filed against Banjola or against Gonzalez. Uh, yes, Your Honor. On, uh, in as much as uh, there are no complainants against uh, each or any of them, we have not filed cases. However, upon uh, 
the sa the the release or when we when we when it came to our knowledge that uh, the video existed on Sunday, I started investigating. And uh, when I investigate uh, Your Honor, um, we decided to file a case of alarm and scandal against uh, Mr. Gonzalez, against Gonzalez for uh, basing on the video. And uh, with the complainants, as the, the complainants are the investigator and uh, the station commander. So you're, you are focusing on the CCTV that you are in, in your possession now. And based on that evidence you gathered through CCTV, you are contemplating in filing cases, in filing the case of alarms and scandal against this Willie Gonzalez. Not, not completely contemplating, Your Honor, but uh, we had uh, already filed the case yesterday on first hour on the opening of uh, the offices because uh, Sunday is holiday and Monday is also holiday. Uh, when the offices or the prosecutor's office opened on uh, Tuesday, we filed the case. Okay. And, uh, Wait, what, what made you decide to pursue the alarms and scandal against Willie Gonzalez? Uh, we, did, we decided to find the alarms and scandal considering that uh, we had uh, we had found sufficient uh, evidence to file it against him because uh, there's no need for a private complainant and uh, the police can stand in as complainant and also we are very cognizant of the uh, we also found uh, later that uh, the SILG has also uh, expressed his opinion that alarms and scandal can indeed be filed so we agreed and filed the case actually your honor based on the uh, assertions of uh, the other members of uh, the social uh, people in social media, especially Attorney Fortune, we really thank him for the for the for bringing to our knowledge possible uh, cases also of uh, um, coercion against uh, our police personnel uh, for uh, forcing the person to. Uh, pay 500 pesos or 800 pesos, uh, whichever case may be. Akala, so, I'll cut you short there. Akala ko ba subject to voluntary agreement yung 500 pesos? Yung ngayon pala, pinilit siya? Uh, that's uh, the assertion now, sir. So that's why uh, I placed on uh, USB again, sir, the CCTVs of, that were installed in uh, Station 11. And I am submitting it to the committee, sir, for further perusal and for your appreciation. Okay, if you you are now, you are now acting on it to file a case against... Uh, Willie Gonzalez for alarms and scandals. Uh, we have already filed the case of alarms and scandals yesterday, sir. Can you please, for the sake of uh, information, what are the elements of alarms and scandals? Alarms and scandals, sir, is defined under Article 155 of the Revised Penal Code. Pardon me, sir, but I'm not a lawyer, but uh, you know, sir, uh, those are, that's punishing, that's, uh, that article punishes uh, actions of anybody that may cause uh, general alarm in the community, like tumultuous affray and uh, many other that may strike fear on people and that may strike also undue uh, alarm. And who on... advised you that case will be filed against Willie Gonzalez? We look at the circumstances within the video, in the video, and uh, we deem it, uh, that we have contemplated and examined it, and based on our uh, assessment, that uh, alarm scandal can indeed be filed against uh, uh, Willie Gonzalez, even Aside without... from alarm scandal, what other... Recommendations do you have in mind, um, General Tori? If only we can uh, convince the cyclist to file a case of... Uh, Aside from criminal cases defined by the Revised Penal Code, any other recommendation do you have in mind, General Tori? Against Willie Gonzalez, sir, is uh, of course uh, on his... Uh, what about what about recommendation for crafting, amending existing laws so that there could be stable peace in the Philippine streets, as they said? As so a moment, the, sir, I may need uh, um, additional time to think it over. And, so uh, the the suggestion from your from your one of the officers of QCPD or from lawyers only suggests a criminal case be filed against Willie Gonzalez, but there is no advice as to what recommendations do you have in mind so that you can help in the future to avoid these incidents, like in, incidents like this. Uh, we have not yet. Uh, I have not yet uh, thought about it. Here's a. Uh, Suggestion. I'll think about it. Okay. And, uh, you you have using using your length in service as PNP officer. You became a general. Probably you have twenty 
more years in experience as PNP officer. You know what is the manner, behavior, and you can read behavior of uh, criminal, criminally minded people. So, in your own opinion, what do you think? Is this Willie Gonzalez psychologically fit or not? Based on this demeanor, sir, uh, Mr. Gonzalez is, uh, I think, uh, 63 years old uh, during this time. And based on this demeanor that afternoon when he came to me, uh, well, I find no really, really uh, no uh, marked reason to actually suspect him of uh, anything. And uh, with uh, his possession of a valid LTAP and uh, PTC4, I would uh, submit to the examination of the authorities that he had passed the requirements, the documentary requirements, to be able okay, to... Next question, this, John uh, Oren. Do you suggest, do you recommend the revocation or cancellation of the LTAP or the license to own a gun with regard to this Willie, uh, Willie Gonzalez? Sir, we actually did uh, recommend to uh, General Kenneth Lucas of the FEO. I personally called him for the revocation of the LTAP, sir. Okay. You recommended for the revocation of the LTAP of this Willie Gonzalez. What is your ground? Obviously, sir, what he did uh, based on the video is a blatant violation of uh, the requirement, uh, the conditions uh, set forth to all uh, gun holders that uh, it, shall, it shall only be used for legal purposes. And I don't see a legal ground for him to draw his firearm in that situation, sir. So, may talagang may tupak si Willie Gonzalez psychologically? Based on the video, sir, I, uh, I can say, sir, that uh, he's really out of line okay, thank at you. the moment. Gerald Torre, hopefully the PNP can recommend this committee for crafting or amending the existing laws. Huwag nyo kaming bigyan dito ng kaso-kaso lang. Kasi, kasi yung kaso-kaso, eh, alam nyo naman, ang penalty ng grave threat, ang penalty ng reckless imprudence, mababa yan. Aristo Mayor, I think that's... Uh, 30 days and one days to six uh, 30 days and one day to six months ibig sabihin uh, subject yan sa mandatory conciliation ilupot lupong tagapagmayapa idaan mo pa yan sa barangay oh so talagang mahirap yan so titingnan natin kung may kaso-kaso diyan probably they, they will scot free again and again yes, so ang gagawin natin dito ang gagawin natin dito you make recommendations study uh, any Uh, for future purposes, recommendations, kung ano ang dapat karapat dapat natin gawin sa problema na ganito. One, yung road rage na yan. Yung may dalang barel, hindi lalabas ng barel, kagaya ni Willie Gonzalez, kung wala, hindi siya psychologically, wala siyang problema psychologically. May problema ang... At yan nga yung mga ilang mga, mga patungkol ng mga pahayag na balita dyan, no? Na kung saan ito nga, yung patungkol nga rito kay Willie Gonzalez, yung uh, namatok nga ng siklista at nanutok nga ng barel. Kung saan na dito nga talagang eh, Masusi nga, tinitignan na talagang iniimbestigahan yung uh, pangyayari o itong uh, kaganapan nga dyan mga kabalita natin na kung saan eh, patungkol din sa pagre-resign no, ni uh, General uh, Torre nga. At dito nga mga kabalita natin eh, dahil to sa nangyari nga press conference nga na tila nga ba hindi nagustuhan syempre ng marami nga. At dito nga yung tila nga ba parang uh, naging abogado ito umano ni uh, Willie Gonzalez nga na kung saan yung uh, sa issue nga na nga pambabatok at pagkakasanga ng baril dito sa isang siklista nga mga kabalita natin yung uh, nagbigay uh, ng uh, pa-conference no, para kay dito nga kay uh, Willie Gonzalez nga o dito nga kay uh, Bokal mga kabalita natin na kung saan itong si uh, General Torre eh, kung saan nga ito nag-file nga ng kanyang pagre-resign dyan mga kabalita natin at ito dito nga eh, sinaluduhan ng mga ilang uh, syempre official ito nga ginawa nga ni General Torre sa kanyang uh, naging uh, hakbang no tungkol nga sa kanyang mga pagkakamali dito at talaga nga dito nga eh iniimbestigahan na talaga eh masusing tinitingnan ito lalong lalo na yung kanyang uh, pagre-resign at kung talaga eh tatanggapin yung uh, kanyang pagbibitiw sa pwesto nga mga kabalita natin at diyan yung mga ilang patungkol mga pahayag at balita diyan no at kayo kayo na lang bahala magkomento sa ibaba nang nais niyo i-komento patungkol diyan at sumulay syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa patuloy niyong pagsubaybay at patuloy niyong pagsuporta at pagsusubscribe sa ating channel at syempre nagpapasalamat tayo sa Banat News update subscribe kayo diyan mga kabalita at sa mga kabalita tumulay ang WB hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita mga kabalita